Hi, I'm Jamie, Fort Vancouver Library's Experiential Learning Librarian. Today we're going to make our own constellation. For today's project, you're going to need a cardboard box, cereal box, you can repurpose your puppet theater or your luminary if that's what you want to do, or find a new box, whatever you want to do. You're going to need some dark paper. I don't have dark paper, so I'm using a piece of thicker white paper, and I'm going to use this giant Sharpie to color it black. You will need some scissors. You'll need a little push pin or some kind of pointy object for safety and so I don't lose it. I have used this scrap of cardboard just to keep track of my push pin. And then you'll need some tape. I love astronomy or the study of stars and all the celestial bodies outside of Earth, even including Earth, everything. One of my favorite things that's really fun to do with astronomy is study constellations. Constellations are a group of stars that have been made into shapes, and then lots of different cultures make stories up about the constellations. Today, we're gonna to make our own constellation and make up our own story about our constellation. To get started, we're gonna set up our box. I'm gonna repurpose my luminary, which is amazing. If you're repurposing your luminary, it's really easy to just change this project out. If you're starting with a brand new box, cut out a square in the front of the box that's slightly smaller than the side of the box itself. So you don't want to go all the way out to the edge of the box. If you're going to use a small flashlight or a cell phone light or a weird LED light like I have, then you're going to want to cut a small hole in the back of your box as well. You don't want it too big because we don't want a lot of extra light going through. If I use the light from a cell phone, I want it just big enough for the light to shine through. My hole was a little big, so I taped it up with some tape. The goal for today's project is to create a constellation that you can put on your box and then have a light source either inside the box with it, so an LED light or a flashlight or a cell phone on the outside of the box with the hole cut in it, so that you can then project light through your constellation. To start your constellation, if you have dark cardstock or construction paper or something that's a dark color, you can skip this step. I only have white, so I'm going to use my giant Sharpie and just color this page black. I don't need to color the whole page black. I just need a piece of paper big enough to fit on the outside of my box here. So I'm going to kind of eyeball it. We're going to tape it to the outside of the box so it can be slightly larger than the screen that we used. Let's see how that works. That'll be great. I'm going to put my scrap paper underneath so I don't actually color into my uh, notebook. marker on myself. We're going to use a push pin or some sort of vaguely pointy object to make holes into the paper in the form of a constellation. To poke holes in this you might want to have a scrap piece of cardboard underneath. I'm going to try and keep my constellation as centered as possible on the paper so that I make sure it has really good light coverage when it's on the box. If you're having trouble getting started you can always start with the constellation you do know. I'm going to do the Big Dipper. Now it has a star on the end of the handle, it has another star for the handle, and then it has a third star where the handle meets the bucket on the Big Dipper. And then there are stars to indicate the four, well, three other corners of the pot on the Big Dipper. You can poke your holes through, and once you have them started, go back in with your pin and just make the holes a little bit more defined. I'm going to 
going to stick my pin into my scrap cardboard just so I don't lose it. So I've sealed up everything on my box just so that there's a hole in the back that I can shine my light through and then the screen in the front. I'm going to go ahead and tape my constellation onto the front of my box like this and then see how it looks. I've taped the black piece of paper onto the front of my box. Now we're going to test it out with a light source. pretty good. Now that we've tested our prototype or our first draft and we know that it works, we can expand our project from here. Maybe I'm going to expand on the Big Dipper. Instead of having the Big Dipper now, maybe I think that the pot on the Big Dipper kind of looks like a head. And so I can do two more dots coming off the other side. Make sure your holes are nice and big. Ooh, those kind of look like antennae now. constellation. The only one of its kind. You may not be able to see it, but I know it's there. Another way that you can make this project more challenging is to poke a whole bunch of holes into this box. Not too many because you don't want your paper to fall apart, but poke several. Or even with the existing holes I have here, how many different shapes can I make out of the existing holes? How many different constellations do I see in one set of holes? Which is really fun and challenging. Something else you can do is take a white marker or a gel pen and trace out the different shapes. Have fun and keep making. We hope to see you at the library soon. Until then, the library's website has a lot of great resources. www.fbrl.org. See ya.